Welcome to the next video on programming with SQL Lite. In this video we're going to talk about programming SQL Lite with the Perl programming language. Now the Perl programming language has been around it seems forever even before the internet was popular and it's used by sysadmins and load builders and all kinds of programming people all over the place. It has one of the largest library, uh, largest collection of uh, plug-in libraries that, that can do almost every imaginable thing. Well, true to form, Perl does have a way to use SQLite databases, and it's actually good because you can uh, you can keep, instead of using writing to a flat file and and rolling your own database functionality, you can just leverage what you have with SQLite. So to do that, first you have to make sure you have SQL uh, the 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 two uh, d plugins installed. So you go Perl minus mcpan minus e shell. So now you're in the CPAN. Now I'm not going to run these, but you have to do install DBI. And once you do that, it'll install the database interface plugin. And then the other one you have to do is install, oops, install DBD, that's the database driver, SQLite. And that'll install your SQLite drivers. And once you do that, then you're all set to go. So. Now what I'm going to do is start Perl in interactive mode, and you can just do that by going Perl minus D minus E and one. I'm not a Perl expert, so this is just a magical incantation to get me where I want. All right. Now the first thing you do for an SQLite program is you have to go use DBI. Okay, so that basically tells the this interactive program to pull in the database interface library. Okay, now if we go print uh, dbh, there's nothing, okay? <laughs> and you can go big deal. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get a database handle. Now, just to refresh, Perl, like like SQLite, Perl has three major interfaces to use, to drive the SQLite database. You've got you've got connect, uh, and that creates a new database handle and connect to the database. You have do and this interface just uh, executes an SQL statement and for select statements where uh, where you have to uh, get a, a result you actually have to um, call select all array ref and what that does is it tells it tells the uh, DBD interface to pull the result into an array of arrays just like with all other SQL Lite, um, and then there is a final interface, and it's called disconnect, and that's used to disconnect. All right, let's uh, let's drive and have a look. Okay, so the first thing we do is we say dbh, uh, sorry, dbh equals. We got to get a database handle first, and we go um, dbi the module and then we'll call the connect method and then we'll go dbi sqlite and then the name of the file I'll pick is just perl sqlite.db perl sqlite.whoops db there we go um, you can pick any name you want I just pick that one and that's the file that's actually going to be created or it's going to be opened and if it doesn't exist it'll be created and if this doesn't work, you go die, cannot connect. All right. Now, let's see what happened. Did we get a database handle? Yes, because you see you've got dbi as a db hash, blah, blah, blah. So we now have a database handle. So now we go dbh do. Oops. Okay, now, inside the do is where we're going to execute the SQL. So I'm going to create a, te a test table. So go create table test. I'm just going to have an ID integer and name with some text. Fairly boring table but it uh, shows you how to drive the database. Okay now I'm going to insert some values into the table. So I go dbh do and again, I'm going to 
execute some SQL lights. So I'll go insert into test, that's the new table we just created, values 1, which is the integer. That's according to the schema 1. And I'll just pick a name, which is some text. And I think that should work. And I'll do it again. I'll insert a few rows. So 2 and K and then 3 and Ray. Okay, so now you know how to run SQL commands. Now this isn't very useful in a real program because you want to you you don't want to be constructing these strings off the fly. You actually want to bind the data to the statements. And the way to do that is is you provide instead of the values you go question mark question mark and those are the binding points and then you have input parameters for the do for the for which there are none so you just say undef and then you put in your input parameter so I'll say for and may okay and yeah and that okay so I'm going to insert into test values question mark question mark undef and for and may so does that work whoops that didn't work okay let's try that again <laughs> work backwards uh, let's do the do okay so we're going to do that and go insert into test values question mark question mark uh, we've got to close the string here that's right and undef if is a, is a parameter to do and one and may that should work. I put the quotes in the wrong place, that's why. That works. Good. Now this is almost useful because in a real program you probably want to um, have variables from other parts of your program like a user interface and you then want to twiddle the database with those values. So let's say you had a, a value called new ID and equals 5 and let's say you had new name equals Shay. So if you go print uh, new ID, new name, it'll say 5 and Shay right down here. So okay, so we got some variables. Now I'll do the dbh do again. Okay, so again I'll execute insert into test values question mark question mark. Except now I'll provide new ID. Oops, I gotta have the dollar new ID and new name. There you go. Take my word for it, that actually got into the database. Of course, uh, there's nothing as useless in computer science as a write-only file system or a write-only database. So I need to prove that I got the data into the database. So what I'm going to do now is, is uh, get a result set. So I get re the result set equals, and remember, uh, get the database, oh, hang on, the result equals database handle, and then you call the select all array ref, and then we, instead of a string, we'll just use the, the Q function in Perl. So select star from test. Okay, now if I go print res, what do you get? You have an array of something, so now we've got to dump that 